Hey guys, so I'm so excited. I just got my movie box and my remote control. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to install the box and work with the Bluetooth remote control that came along with it. So I'm really excited. Um, I've heard really great reviews about the movie box, so I cannot wait to get started. I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. Okay, it's very pretty, it's small, it's portable, and I have instructions as well. All right, so it does come with a remote control. And I do see that I got a HDMI cord as well. And I also have a power cord. So basically this is all I need to um, get my box hooked up. So I see everything I need here and it's all included here. Um, this, let's see, this is the Air Mouse remote control. So this works Bluetooth. It's very pretty, it's solid black. It's a really nice remote control, very sleek and also has a really beautiful um, keyboard in the back. Also comes with the chip, with the USB chip there. And I do see something else in the box. And this is a rechargeable remote control. So I do see here, this is the charger. Um, I'm assuming you can actually plug it in here and this is where you're actually gonna be able to charge the Bluetooth remote control when you do need to have it charged up. Now, I did charge my remote control, so now you are able to actually charge it on the side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out since it is fully charged now. Now, it does also come with a USB chip. Um, with the USB chip, you can actually insert it on the side of the port. Now, you can insert it on either one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the first one right there. And once I put this chip in, it's actually going to activate my remote control, so I'm actually able to use it now. Um, it does come with a keypad on the back, so you're actually able to type in, you know, if you wanna search for anything, you can actually type it in right there. You have your numbers here. Um, you have your delete, enter. Now over here, you do have your speaker. Um, this is the volume up, your volume down. Um, right here is actually where you're gonna activate your mouse. So anytime you wanna use it as a cursor, um, you just click it on it once and it'll activate your cursor. If you click on it again, you're actually able to use this as a regular remote control. Um, right here, um, this key right here is gonna be your menu key, um, which I'll get more in depth into later. And as well over here, you do have your home key and you also have your back button. Now your back button is always gonna take you back one page and your home key is, if you actually hold the home key down, that will take you directly back into the main home page. Um, then you do have your okay button here. Now, if you wanna use it as a remote control, um, just clicking up and down right here, that's gonna activate the remote control. Now, it does come also with a standard remote control right over here. Now, please keep in mind that you are actually able to power your box off with the Bluetooth remote control. However, it won't power your box back on because it is via Bluetooth and it would need to have that sensor. Um, so in order to turn your box on, I do recommend using this remote control, which is the standard remote control. Um, this will actually let you turn on and turn off your movie box. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to hook up the box um, to your television so that way you can start watching your movies, TV shows. Um, now I already inserted my USB chip here so my Bluetooth remote has already been activated. So now you wanna connect your HDMI um, to the back of your television. Now I already have an HDMI cord that's already hooked up to my TV. Um, this is the HDMI that does come with the movie box um, that you're gonna connect to the back of your television. Now the HDMI cord will be going right over here where it's gonna say HDMI. 
Now, I already have one that's already hooked up to my television, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. Now, the power cord, the power cord you wanna go ahead and um, you wanna put this into any outlet that you have available. Um, you just go ahead and plug that in. All right, now that does go right over here. Um, so power core will go right on the side. Just gonna go ahead and insert that in. Now a blue light did turn on and it's booting. So this is gonna take a couple of seconds for it to load. So I just connected my box. Now I do see that I need to connect to my internet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my settings. Now, I'm going to choose to select my Wi-Fi. Now, please keep in mind, you are able to connect through your Ethernet cord as well. Um, the Ethernet cord, you can just connect to the back of the box. Now, I'm just going to connect um, through my Wi-Fi. And once you get to this screen, you kind of want to search for your server. And mine was the first one that came up. Now, you actually have the option where you can actually type in your password um, from the actual screen by using the mouse, or you can actually use the keypad that's located on the back of the remote control as well. Now I finished putting in my password. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the connect key. So I'm just gonna click on connect. All right, now I'm fully connected to the internet. Um, so now I'm actually able to get my box started. So I'm gonna click on the home button. So once I connected to my internet, it took me over to this screen where it says to enter an email address so they can send me an activation pin. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address. Now again, you are able to use the keypad that is located on the screen or you can always use the keypad that's located on the back of the remote control. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in my email address. All right, once I did that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this blue check round right here. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna click on send pin. Um, so now it told me that they sent my pin to my email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my emails. Now this process um, can take a couple of moments. So I just got my pin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enter it in here. Now keep in mind, if you haven't received your pin, you can always look into your spam email. Um, it can always appear in your spam email as well. So I'm gonna actually use this screen so you can see. Okay, so it is gonna be, my pin number is gonna be 6534. Now again, I'm just gonna click on this check mark right here, and I'm gonna click on activate. Now, you can always change the email address, so if you don't receive your PIN, um, what I do suggest is clicking on change email address and then going ahead and clicking in a new email address if you haven't received it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click activate. And this is the main screen on my movie box. Now, once I've connected to my internet, what I wanna do is check my internet speed. Um, I do wanna make sure that I have 10 megabytes um, per second on my box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed test. Now the speed test is located on the bottom left, so it is actually right over here, if you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now, I wanna begin the test. Now, how to begin the test, you kinda of wanna have your cursor on begin test, and while the cursor is on it, you wanna click on the OK button, which is located on the middle. So you're gonna see a big OK. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna direct my speed. Now, again, you wanna make sure that your download speed has at least 10 megabytes per second. As you can see, um, my speed is pretty good. I have 24.29 megabytes per second. So my internet speed is pretty good, and from here I'm actually able to start streaming any movie and any TV show. So now I'm actually able to get started. 
Um, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on my movie box updater. Now you do have the option for English add-ons. You also have the option of Spanish. I'm going to go ahead and choose on my English add-ons. And it's just downloading a build. Now this process can take up to 10 minutes um, for it to finish loading. Um, so just put your remote control down and relax. Now once it's finished loading, um, you're going to receive this pop-up and it's going to ask you if you want to launch now you want to go ahead and click on yes. Now once you click on yes, now it's going to direct me right into my movie box. Now here is where I'm actually able to search movies, TV shows, um, I have podcasts, I see my sports as well. So there's definitely lots of options here that I'm going to play around with. 